welcome to my channel if you are new to this channel please do it to subscribe to the channel like this video and don't forget to share this video because i think people need to watch this video people need to see this video people need to react to this video because this video i'm making right here is one of the hardest video that i have ever made in my channel yes it's one of the coldest video that i will tell you that i have ever made it took me some time to think very well before making the video i was very emotional before making this video so please i want you to go to the comment section and drop your comment like this video just give this video a thumb up and drop your comment if you have not subscribed also subscribe now what we are looking at today in this video is what many people have described as uh, as inhuman act inhuman act now i'm not the one saying that because nigerians all over the social media are reacting to this particular picture and uh, and the video now what actually happened these are children allegedly arrested you know and detained by the federal government of nigeria and they were charged to court and what happened to them was this you know recall that about three months ago in nigeria there was a protest uh, and bad governance protests and in that protest in the north especially we saw people waving uh, Russian flag you know and they were waving Russian flag and, and the security agencies arrested them you know and they were charged to court for treasonable offense they say it's a treasonable offense they are trying to overthrow the government of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and now this man, very dark man, was in the court as well yesterday when he met these people. You know, he was in court. He recorded that he was detained by federal, uh, by the police uh, for putting on Nigerian police uniform uh, uh, to make a video, and he was detained and charged to court and subsequently granted bail. You know, two million naira bail and. He, now, when he came out, he saw these people and he made this video. So, I want you to first of all, let's listen to Very Dark Man and hear what he said concerning this before we continue. Now, this boy, 10 years old boy, right? Me and this boy, this I said, apparently, these are the boys that the Tinubu government arrested that they were flying Russian flag. All these children were still like this now, they go to this because they could not secure bail for them. They are going to the prison now, they could not secure bail for them. Now, the question is this. What does this boy know about flag? This boy does not even have a basic education, let alone knowing that he flew a flag. So you are charging all these kids for treason. Me, I just came out of uh, I just came out of cell and I was with them. That's the previous part. This morning I was going to pee when I woke up. I was going to pee when I saw this boy. I was like, this boy is my children. So now we came to court. They could not grant their bail, they have adjourned the case. So where are they going to sleep? They are going to sleep beside the cell again. And already they'll stay for more than 90 days. Today is the 93rd day, 93 days for all the children sitting everywhere. Today is the 93 for a bowl. This one don't leave. Oh. How much do you Which food? This one don't leave. See how this boy did. And all the way from Kano. Where they carry you from? Yes. From Kano. They brought them from Kano to Abuja. Where's their parents? Their parents now go to cry. No one. What is that kid? 10 years old. How old are you? And the best condition. 14 years. All of them are less than 17 years old. It's crazy. It's crazy and it's not fair. Come on. Now, many people are asking why did you, I mean, arrest these underage people? Look at them. Children. And many of some of them are, look at this one, 10 years. According to what he had, that a particular guy said he's 17 years. Very dark man said these children are below 18 years. They are minors. They are not feeling well. Look at how the other one's bone is pumping out. Their health is failing them. Why keeping them in, in prison? Now the court has the judge has adjourned the case. Meaning that these children are going back to cell. Since three months ago, they were arrested. It's now that they were brought to uh, court. And the funny part of it now is that the court have grant said that they will be granted bail with 10, 10 million, they will pay 10, 10 million naira each for each of them. 
in each of them, 10 million naira. Where will this kind of people get the money? Where will their parents get the money to, uh, to release them? Who, who will bring the 10 million naira? What is happening in this country? You know? well, what is happening? Men of us, we have been looking at what is in this country. We don't understand. Yes, they may say they are offended. Yeah, federal government may have their own this thing. But at least, you look at their age now. Look at their age. Look at them. Look at how they look at look like. Hmm? Let's just remember that some of these people, they, are, they could be your children. They could be your grandchildren. The judge handling case, yes, the lawyers, they are doing their work. But then, they should tamper justice with mercy. I think that's the popular word. Tampering justice with mercy. Looking at these people, look at them. With the information we got, was that these guys were even giving biscuits. You can see them on the screen. They were giving biscuits in the court to eat. Because they, they, they are not looking well. Their health was not looking okay. They are, you can see the collarbone pumping out. Please. This country, let's just, when we are doing something, let's put some things into consideration. You know, let's put some things. Yes, they may have, they may have been held. These children they may have been held. Please, President Tinubu, pity them. President, I'm begging on behalf of their parents. Please, we are father. We love you, sir. Please, we know you can do it. Sir, we know you can forgive them. You know, we know that you can just make a call and these children will be released. Please, Mr. President, our President, our dear lovely President, Mr. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, please grant these children presidential pardon. Let them go. Let them go. If we can, if we could uh, uh, rehabilitate uh, Boko Haram, you know, people, why can't we just pick them and rehabilitate them, give them proper orientation? That see, these things you are doing are not right. Don't do it again. Rehabilitate them. Because the things we are doing now is like building a monster in them. Look at somebody that said he's 10 years. You are building a monster in him. Please, sir, I'm lending my voice. I'm lending my voice. You're a good man, sir. President Bola Ame Tulibu, you're a good man. Yes, sir. Please pardon them. Let them go. Please. Thank you for watching this video. Please do well to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to share this video. Thumb up. Bye. These people we are just we are discussing you. That's something that six days. That's six days. That's what we do that day. My case is different than my child. Hello, hello, hello. Please, maybe the recording can just stop for now. Let's just take a photo and see what we have. Let's just talk together ourselves.